Good morning all you fellow dotters out there and welcome back to my channel. On today's video I'm going to show you how once I've completed my dotting picture how I remove the writings on the edge of the pictures in order to frame my pictures. As you can see I've dotted, just finished recently dotting this beautiful sunset picture and I want to get it ready to have it framed. All you're going to need is some nail varnish remover and some cotton pads. I use the acetone free nail varnish remover because I have got acrylic nails. It still works. It does not have to be acetone uh, nail varnish remover. Acetone free works just as well as you will see here. When I diamond dot my pictures, I like to put masking tape on the edge because of the sticky part on the edge. It keeps my picture clean. So my first step now is to remove this masking tape. As you can see, my painter's tape has been completely removed. Here it all is. And that I'm just throw away. You can see my edge is nice and clean. And that makes obviously cleaning also better. There's no cat hair or anything that I have to worry about. My next step, all I do is take my cotton pad. I love this that it has this pumping function. Make sure it's well loaded with nail varnish remover. I like folding it so I have some pressure to press. And I start erasing the ink. On the cotton ball, you can see there's the ink now. If you can still faintly see it and it's not removing it further, just add some more and keep going until it is as white as what you need it to be. I'm not worried about having it completely white because once I've boxed it, I use fabric paint, acrylic paint, gouache paint, whatever paint I feel like and I paint the edges a color that will suit my picture. I haven't quite decided on this one yet. I'm thinking maybe the purple or otherwise maybe even a light green I think might go. Or even a light yet a blue edge would look very nice. I haven't decided yet. Maybe hit me under the comments which color you think I should use. Move over to the picture. Oh if I start coughing please it's all because of the fumes. You will notice now here on this very edge, it's a little bit tougher to get off, but it's all due to, remember the sticky part I mentioned just next to the picture? The, the glue gets applied after it's been printed. So this ink is underneath that glue. So it just requires a little bit longer rubbing to first dissolve the glue that is actually keeping the ink underneath it. This cotton wool I think might be getting a bit on the dirty side, that also can make it be an issue. Take a clean one, pump new, make sure it's well soaked, it won't do anything to the canvas. And then you'll see the, the residue, that stain behind is also picking up now because the cotton wool is clean. Just a little bit of patience. If the ink is very difficult, it just means you just require a bit more patience. This one here is usually the biggest trouble of all. I've zoomed in a bit on this area, just to show you though it's still all possible, even though it's a difficult one. Remember, cotton ball, lots of acetone, uh, nail varnish remover. As you can see, the most of it comes off quite quick. But again, that edge, can you see I'm rubbing and it's not coming yet? That is because it's still first eating through that layer of glue. 
and all I do is I keep going. And the cotton wool gets too dirty and I think it's not picking up. You can see it's like turning into a gray, light gray. I just take a new one. I won't be removing these. I don't need to. It's going to be behind my frame when it's boxed. I just focus on the area that's on the edge which is visible. And there, my painting hat edges have been cleaned. As you can see, all nice and clean. Um, if a dot decides to come off while you're cleaning it, you usually will feel it immediately. You can just pick it up with your pen again and just put it on. But in general, if your picture's uh, self-adhesive is strong enough, the dot should not come off too easily. My picture is now ready to be sealed. I like sealing them with Mod Podge. And please keep an eye on my channel. Next week I will be posting the video of how I will Mod Podge this picture. If you enjoyed what you've seen, please feel free to check out my channel. There's lots of handy how-to hints and tips for how I do my diamond painting. I love diamond painting. I I'm a fanatic, there's not a day that goes by where I don't diamond paint and I feel very sad on days I don't. So I've caught up, I've got quite a few tricks up my sleeve. Please follow my channel if you're interested for further uh, hints and tricks that are coming up soon in the future. And yeah, have a lovely dotting day ladies. <laughs>